Hey guys, it's J. and welcome to my very, very first mod showcase. I know, I know, I am so, so excited, but first things first, let me say a quick, quick preface and then we'll get underway with the showcase. Um, but yeah, so guys, if you do enjoy this video, um, make sure to leave a like or if you happen to be new, um, make sure you come over and check out the channel. The link will be down in the description below. Um, so come check out the channel, subscribe, stick around for a little bit and see if you enjoy it. I think we're doing some really awesome things over there. So I hope you'll come over and stay around. Um, but yeah, so let's get underway with today's mod showcase. So um, the first mod showcase, the first mod showcase that I wanted to do to kind of start things off with a bit of a bit of a bang is the block launcher show the block launcher mod. Um, so I think it's a really really cool mod. I've been playing around with it for quite uh, for quite some time. I'm having such a blast with it. Um, I think it'd be really cool to incorporate to some some like something like a a bigger mod pack like Crazy Craft or something. But We'll, we'll have to see. Well, first we'll just showcase and then we'll look at look towards the future. Um, but yeah, this mod is a really cool mod. So let's get right into it. Basically, it's it's it adds a small array of weapons. It adds about six weapons, and basically how it works is it's it uses uh, uses blocks in the world to shoot. You can shoot basically any block in the world. So you really you basically never run out of ammo because basically anything you mine, anything you grab from around the world, you can shoot. So I think that is a really really cool feature. So let's get underway with some crafting recipes and then I'll show you I'll show you guys the, the, the guns um, so the first things first we need this bad boy here and this guy is called the block launching part and this is how you craft it okay you need two pistons one two um, a redstone just a redstone dust and a block of iron so it is a little bit of expensive but I it's a little bit expensive but it does make it does make a a, cute, a few really cool weapons so let's go check out the weapons um, so just down this way, I've got them all lined up here. Let's have a look at the block rifle first. So this is this crafting recipe. You need the oak wood planks, the redstone, the block launching part, and the iron ingot. So this bad boy, this is really cool. Um, let's grab a block. So let's test out. Let's test out some 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 sand for now. So I don't really want to mess up my house too much. Um, just. Just to let you guys know, this isn't actually my build. I'll leave a link to this. I'll leave a link in the description um, to the actual builder. It's a really, really cool build. Um, but let's shoot this block rifle. I can't wait. We're going to shoot it out here. Um, yeah, we're going to shoot it out here. Um, so let's see. I'm going to show you how this works. You right click, and basically it shoots out a block, and that is so so cool. So how it works? It shoots out the block, and it kind of slides into position. And basically, once it lands, it build, it actually like builds to a regular size block, so it can actually be used. Oh, that was interesting. Um, it can actually be used to craft. It can actually be used for building, which is really cool. Uh oh, um, <laughs> it can actually be used for building, which is really really cool. Um, and I'll show you guys how you could use it for building in just a moment because it actually has a few upgrades which are really really sick. I can't wait to show you the upgrades. The upgrades I think really make it. Um, but let's put this away, for, let's leave it for now. Let's grab out the block cannon. So this is how you make it obsidian, um, block launching part, redstone dust and some and an iron ingot. Um, so the block cannon is a really really powerful. Actually let's test it out on a mob. Let's test this one out on a mob really quickly um, so I don't forget about that. Let's test it out on a spider. Um, so let's grab that bad boy and let's test it out on a spider. So this spider, um, 16 health points, we're going to hit it with some sand and as you can see it only does one or two damage. So not too much damage but if we were to grab something like, let's say maybe some iron. Well, can we shoot iron? I don't know if we'll be able to shoot iron with this. Um, no, so wait. The how it works is it shoots the first. It shoots the first block that it can actually fire. So it can't fire a block of iron. Let's see if it can shoot some cobble. Um, I'm not sure. I'm testing these out with you guys to see if it works. Okay, we can shoot cobble, and as you can see, it does a bit more damage. Oh wow, that did a lot more damage. So let's check it out again. It actually does. He jumped over the block. What a cheeky little spider. Let's do it. It does nine damage. And if it gets stuck in the block, it does continuous damage. So that's quite cool. Let's do it again. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck in the block. Nine, about nine damage. So that's really cool. As you can see, the more the uh, the more powerful the block or the thicker the block, the heavier the block, um, the more damage it's going to do. Now let's try out this, the, the, the block cannon. Now this is a beast, right? I'm going to show you how it works. So you can hold down the right trigger. And it's basically like a bow and arrow. You extend it, and at maximum capacity, you fire, and it shoots out. Oh, this one actually shot the iron, which is cool. Which means that it can't shoot the cobblestone. I wonder. I wonder if it can shoot the the sand. 
Let's try it, let's try it. Um, it can't shoot the sand. That is so cool. Watch the block of iron like bounce off. Um, that is actually really, really cool, okay. That is so sick. Let's try it out on a mob. I want to see how much damage this does. I think it should one bang. It should just absolutely wreck. Let's see. In the face! Okay, it absolutely destroyed that spider. One bang to the face. All right, let's move on to the shot block. So the shot block is another, it's another weapon. Um, it's used crafting, it's crafted by a stick, an iron ingot, the block launching part again, um, obviously the redstone and the an item, uh, a piece of leather. So this is, this is really cool. Now if I grab a stack of sand, and I, we'll try a stack of, stack of cobble as well, but a stack of sand and I right click, it will shoot out like, like, exactly like that, like, like a shotgun, which is so cool, ready? We'll shoot it over here, shotgun, and obviously, if we did actually do some upgrades, it might stick to the window. But I'm going to have to show the upgrades in just a moment. So let's check out the let's check out what it does to a spider. Um, can it shoot? Can it shoot cobble? It can't shoot cobble. Wow, that does so much damage. It absolutely destroys him in basically one hit because it is a shotgun. So that is quite cool. Um, so let's grab out this uh, this one here, the block thrower. So this one is a little bit different. It's a little bit scary how it works. So you need a flint and steel, two pieces of iron, block launching part, and some redstone. Now I've got to take this one a little bit further away from my house because I don't want to use it inside my house. I'm going to show you what it does. So this, if it does work, is going to shoot fire. No, of course it doesn't work when I want to show you guys. All right, so if I shoot sand, no, it's not working before. How, how was I doing it? Was I shooting? Maybe it just takes wood. That would make sense because it needs something to ignite. Um, so let's go grab some wood, um, see if that works. Because before it was shooting fire when I was trying it before. I can't remember what I was using, that's a thing. I would be so devastated if I just sh like burnt down the house. That would not be good. Alright, let's try shooting some wood, see if that works. Um, I don't really want to shoot inside just in case it sets my whole house on fire. Yes, oh Jesus, it's going to set my whole house on fire. Okay, sick. Okay, we're going to start a massive fire outside, but check it out. So it actually shoots wood and it sets it on fire and it starts like massive lots of fire. So that, as you'll be able to tell, will basically destroy any spider in its path and just set it on fire. Create like a massive, massive forest fire just like that. So we need to be careful not to set our house on fire. Um, okay, we didn't. I thought for a second we might have. So that is the block thrower. That is really cool. Now let's move on to some of the bigger and better things. Oh no. I kind of I kind of broke the last chest, but we'll fix that up in a second. Um, so let's put that for in here for now. So the next one we have is the TNT cannon. Now we're getting on to some good stuff. So the recipe is some iron, a piece of iron, uh, redstone dust, flint and steel, an oak wood plank, and the block launching part. So let's grab some TNT. Um, I don't have any TNT. Let's grab some TNT, um, a stack of TNT, and this cannon is so, so awesome. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how it, how it works. Let's just quickly time set day um, because we don't want any of that, that darkness. Um, so let's, I'm going to show you how it works. Ready? How it works. Basically, you click it. You don't have to charge this one. You click it, and it shoots out. It shoots out the TNT and it kind of just lands, takes its time, and then explodes. So that is really cool. It'd be cool if it blew up on explosion, um, blew up on impact, but obviously that's just the TNT cannon. Now, I have something to show you. As I said, blew up on impact, that is where the next weapon comes in. This next one is actually a TNT, um, it's a TNT, what's it called? It, I, I broke the thing, so I forgot what it's called. The TNT launcher. Now this bad boy is crafted with an oak wood plank, iron ingot, the block launching apart, redstone, and a flint and steel. Now this bad boy is pretty, pretty intense. So let's show, I'll show you how it works. This one, it charges up, it charges up just like a bow and arrow, or just like the block launching, um, or just like the, what was it, the block cannon. And basically this one explodes on impact, which is so cool. Ready? We're going to shoot it as far as possible and see... <coughs> we shot it too far. I can't even see. All right, let's shoot it down here. And as you can see, it blows up on impact, which is so cool. I really don't want to hit a sheep or anything, but let's see. And it just absolutely demolishes. It is such a, such a cool weapon. Now, we have gone through all the weapons. Now it's time to see some of the customizations and a few of the, a few of the, the extra bits that we can add on to these weapons. So I need to find where I hid them. Uh, I knew I hit him. Okay, I think I know where it is. It's up in the art studio. Let's go up here and 
check out the art. Okay, this is the guest room. It's over here in the art studio. So this one here, let's put some of the junk away. Um, just for now and we're gonna leave that and put that away so this one here this is the shot block inside of a ring of iron ingots so eight iron ingots around the outside gives you the super spread shot block now this bad boy here this guy here this guy ooh, he does some serious damage right let's go test the super spread let's just break out let's just break out the window um, we've already done a we've already done a lot of damage to our house as it is um, but let's, I'm going to show you how this one works. I actually haven't seen this one. Um, I, just by the name, I know it sounds super legit, but I haven't actually tested this one out. So let's see. I'm hoping it's really, really cool. All right, ready? Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Look at that. A super spread. That is super spread to the max. Like, oh my God, that is insane. Baby zombie, get off the chicken. Get off the chicken. Look at that super spread. That is so worth it. I would craft that in a heartbeat. That is so sick. And imagine if we shot, let's shoot some dirt actually. Let's shoot some dirt so it sticks. It sticks to where we shoot it. So if we just fire one, it just shoots one at a time. So if we get a whole stack of these bad boys and we go like that, oh my God, check that out. It, these should plant where soon or wherever they land. Um, so on the grass and stuff. Now the next thing that I want to show is actually another another improvement that is a really really cool improvement. Um, so which one do I want to go to next? The TNTs. I'll show you the the bulk one. So this one here, you can actually make this item here a block rifle with sticky blocks. So it's just crafted with four slime balls around a normal rifle or any weapon, and it gives you a sticky weapon. So if we grab, if we go and grab that out of this chest that I, I organized earlier. Um, so if we grab these, uh, let's grab all of these so I can show you all at once. Basically, we're gonna grab we'll grab some iron because iron seems to fire, um, well, it doesn't fire from the block rifle, but let's grab some dirt and I'll show you how this bad boy works. So, you know how I said you could do some mad building with this and this is where this comes in place. So if we shoot this here, it should stick to wherever it hits. You see that? It just stuck to the, the first place it makes contact with. So that is so cool. You could do some really, really cool building. Um, let's try and build on the glass. Let's try and, oh, it goes through the glass, um, but that's okay. We're gonna try, it's just really cool. Like imagine building, I don't know, you could build some really cool stuff. Look at the de look at the demolition that I've made, or the <laughs> it's just destruction that I've made down there. But yeah, you could do some really cool, like sticky building with these things. Now, obviously they're all pretty much the same. Now if I go and grab the block cannon, it does pretty much the exact same thing. It's the sticky, it's the sticky block cannon. So if we shoot it out, if we shoot it over here, we can shoot it a lot further um, and it'll stick to the first block it hits. Um, did that one stick? No, it didn't, it didn't quite stick. So we can shoot it. I wanna shoot it far away so it'll stick. Um, but not that far so we can see it, if that makes sense. Yeah, you see like that? So we can shoot it really far away and it'll still stick. That is so cool. Like if we shoot it up, I don't know how high it'll go, but it, whoa. Okay, that's gone completely out of sight. Is it gonna fall back down or that? Oh yes, look, check it out. Let's hit it in midair. Oh damn, I missed it in midair. But I could come up with so many mini games. I'm just thinking there could be so many mini games. Now I wanna check this one, the block thrower with sticky, with a sticky block thrower. All right, let's grab some of these and let's try it. I don't quite know how that works. I'm guessing it's just gonna like stick to the, yeah, stick to the wall. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't really see too much use for that, but that is really cool nonetheless. You could start some mad forest fires and I might start a forest fire over my house, uh, under my house if I'm not careful. Um, I think that should die out, which is good. Now, let's show you the next one. Oh shoot, oh shoot, go away, go away, go away. I'm just gonna break my whole house. Oh crap, okay. We fixed it. Let's not do that again. Let's stick these away. Oh no, wait, the sticky TNTs. All right, I'm gonna show you these because these are really, really cool. Um, do I have some TNTs still? I do. The sticky TNT launcher. So this bad boy, it basically is gonna stick to wherever you shoot it. Now this one here isn't the best because it blows up on impact, but if we were to get the TNT cannon, we could shoot it <clears throat> and how this works, it'll stick, <coughs> excuse me guys. It'll stick to wherever it hits and it'll blow up just like a normal TNT. But it'll stay there, which is such a cool feature. I really, really like that. Now, I wanna show you guys the, the last little addition. Um, 
The last little addition, which is really, really cool, it's this one here, the slime ball, or sorry, it's the bouncing the weapon. It's the bouncing weapon. So if you surround any weapon in the, in slime balls, the eight slime balls, you get the bouncing weapon. So let's stick some of these away. Um, I think we are pretty much done with all the sticky ones. And let's grab out some eel. I just typed in eel. Let's grab out some of the sticky weapons. So we'll go like that. Just grab them all back out. And I'm going to show you guys how these work once again. So if we were to go... Oh, wait, no, that's not the sticky. Sorry, the bouncing. So this one's really cool. It looks like there's a zombie trying to come in my house. So we might be able to go kill him. Um, ready? Watch this. Watch this. It actually bounces all over the place. Check that out. Check that out. It just keeps bouncing. Wow, that is that is so cool. Creeper, you're dead with bouncing ones. I could come up with some... Oh, my God. Imagine the mini games that you could come up with these bouncing weapons. Like, that would be so, so cool. So that's what this one is. Oh, my God. I really want to try the bouncing TNT cannon. Uh, sorry, the bouncing... The bouncing rifle... Uh, the bouncing block cannon. Let's try that bad boy out. So this should go ridiculously. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? Oh my god, watch this, ready? It just bounces across all the all the walls, and that one almost went outside. It just continuously bounces for as much or well, until it stops, until there's not until there's not enough uh, power left and it just dies out. But that is super cool. It just goes like pew and it just like bounces off all the walls. Alright, I can just have so much fun with this mod, it is insane. Um, that is so cool. Let's go with the block thrower. I feel like this one could be quite scary, so we're going to take this one outside. Um, let's break through the glass. We're going to take this one outside because it could be quite scary. Um, it could be quite dangerous, I mean. It could be really dangerous. All right, let's try it out here on the planes or in the in the planes. Let's shoot it and watch them. Whoa, check that out. They bounce and they set things alight. That is so cool. You could start some crazy forest fires with this. Look at that. They just keep bouncing. That is sick. That is so, so cool. All right. I think we've had... We have, I'm just having way too much fun. Let's have a look at the... What do we want to have a look at? The, the bouncing TNT cannon. All right. Let's try this one out. Uh, I don't know what this one will work. I don't know how this one will work. Yeah, I guess it just keeps bouncing. When will it blow up though? Okay, it just bounces until it blows up. That is so cool. How, how will this one work? The TNT... The TNT launcher. Because this one here shoots and it sh usually blows up on on contact okay on impact it does blow up so that bouncing one doesn't really have much of a much of a purpose on that one but that is still so cool nonetheless so we can we can charge it and we can shoot it and it still blows up on impact okay i just wanted to double check that one um, okay so i think we're down to pretty much the last few elements or the last element which is up uh, over here i put it down on my on my little on my bachelor pad i guess you could say on my on my balcony over here um, it's a really cool feature, and the way this one works, I'll just put these away. It's a really cool feature again because I'll show you this one. This one, I don't know what it could be used for, but it is really cool. So this, how this works, if you get a TNT cannon and put feathers down the bottom in four spots down the bottom, um, in like a in like an upside down L or some a, a flipped L, you get a harmless TNT cannon. Now this one is really cool, and the same as this one here. The TNT launchers, if you put them in like a flipped L shape of feathers, you get the TNT launcher. And but, but it's a harmless TNT launcher. So I haven't actually tested this one out. So I hope that if I shoot that into my wall, it shouldn't blow up my house. Yeah, check that out. That is so cool, guys. So it's kind of like a decoy weapon. You can shoot it and it doesn't actually blow up your house or any blocks or any mobs, basically. It basically just is like a decoy. It shoots it and it kind of just kind of just it's like a decoy it doesn't blow up anything it just shoots it and it doesn't do any harm and it's just really cool it's a really cool feature it does have the knockback uh at least i think it doesn't have any harm it doesn't do any harm let's quickly oops let's quickly check that um why why do i keep doing that let's, let's check that um let's check that wait i want to go into game mode s don't i um silly me let's go into game mode s hopefully it doesn't kill me Let's see... Okay, yeah, check that out. It doesn't kill me. The full damage is going to kill me, though. All right, guys, that was excellent. Let's do a take two of that just to show that it doesn't actually do any... Oh, shoot, is that the right TNT cannon? Okay, it is. Thank God. Let's let's check. Let's, I'll show. It doesn't do any damage to you. It just knocks you back. So don't stand next to an edge like a silly billy like I am. But I guess we're pretty much done with the mod showcase. The only thing I have left to tell you guys is basically that you can actually... You can actually enchant these 
these uh, these weapons, which is another really cool feature. Um, let's just break into my house. I get through here. Uh, let's go. Yeah, so there's basically uh, five or six, five levels of enchantments. Okay, so there's a power, and the way power works is power is basically every additional level increases speed, damage, and knockback. So that is really cool. If say this mob, say this mob, uh, this this mob wanted to fight you, you could basically just wreck him. Now I don't have any. I don't have any of the TNT, I don't have any of the actual rifles, do I? So let's grab one of the rifles, actually, let's grab the cannon, because the cannon is so cool. Let's grab the normal cannon, <gasps> actually, let's grab the, the bouncy cannon, the bouncing cannon, and let's shoot some coal, uh, cobble at him, um, and boom, and boom, oh, we can't shoot cobble at him, okay. Uh, let's shoot some wood at him. Um, and you can't shoot wood at him either. Let's shoot some iron at him, third time lucky. Um, three, two, one, that should do the trick, and boom, absolutely wrecked. So basically, you, if you did enchant this, you could get the possibility of getting the power enchantment, and it would give you in increased uh, speed and damage and knockback. So that would be so, so cool. Um, the next enchantment is efficiency. Um, so that gives uh, from 25 to 75% chance to not consume the block that you shot. So basically, say I was in survival and I shot that iron block, it gives me a 25 to 75% chance, depending on which um, depending on which uh, level of enchantment you got, of not using the block. So that is something that is really, really cool. Efficiency sounds pretty powerful. I do like that one. Um, there is also that drop resistance is another enchantment, and basically, that one there increases the amount of drops from destroyed blocks in TNT shooters. So if I was to shoot a TNT cannon or a TNT launcher, it doesn't really matter, and I was to shoot it and it blew up, and it would basically give me more of a chance of dropping some more of these blocks. So that's not really the most effective unless you're mining, I guess, which would be pretty cool. Um, there's there's two new, uh, I guess, two new um, enchantments which are really quite cool. There's one called Elasticity, and that's that um, basically allows you, or it makes fired fired blocks bigger, but allows to travel through smaller gaps. So basically, when you shoot the block, it comes out small, and then once it hits something, all right, let's grab the rifle. Let's grab the rifle for this one. Once you shoot, and we need to grab uh, some sand. We'll just shoot some sand with the rifle. Once you shoot it, as you see, it comes out small, and then it expands. Basically, it's saying that it'll. It'll um, what did I say makes fire blocks bigger. So it'll, these will be these will come out bigger when they land. They'll be bigger, but when they're shot, they'll go through smaller gaps. So that is really quite cool. Um, and the last one, last but not least, is universal universality. Um, so that allows to shoot heavier and lighter blocks, um, and slightly decreases fire rate. So I guess that means you could shoot. Um, like an iron block through a block rifle. It just means you have a less fire rate So I wouldn't be able to shoot this shoot it as quickly as I'm shooting the sand But I would still be able to I'd be able to shoot it, which is really quite cool um, But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna have a bit more of a play around with this mod I'm just having so much fun with it I'm gonna basically fill up this whole house with basic random things and maybe even blow it up a little bit but I'm going to leave a link to the mod in the description down below, so make sure you guys go download it or even go have a look at it. It's a really, really cool mod. Um, I'm having such a fun time with it. I'm also going to have a link to my channel and everything down in the description, obviously, but also a link to this awesome build in the description. So if you guys think this build is really cool, make sure you go check it out. Um, and I guess that's it, guys. Make sure you take care. If you happen to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys in future episodes. Bye, guys.